Hello, welcome to this week's problem of the week. Uh, for this problem, uh, we're trying to find all real values of x, um, given that 1 fourth is equal to 1 over radical x plus radical x minus 2, uh, plus 1 over radical x uh, plus radical x plus 2. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is uh, simplify the denominator a little bit. Um, and because these are in form, um, a plus b for both of them, um, what we're going to do is multiply them by the a minus b forms. Um, so for the term 1 over radical x plus radical x minus 2, uh, we'll multiply this by um, radical x minus radical x minus 2. And for this one, um, multiply 1 over radical x plus radical x plus 2 uh, by um, radical x plus 2 minus radical x. So multiply top and bottom by both of those, uh, for multiply the top and bottoms. Um, so it's still equal to 1. So we'll do that for both terms. Um, so as you can see, um, when you multiply uh, the top and bottom of the first term, a radical x minus radical x minus 2. Uh, the bottom simplifies to just 2. And the top, uh, we have 1 times radical x minus radical x minus 2. And that just becomes radical x minus radical x minus 2. Um, and the same thing for the second term. Uh, the denominator simplifies to 2. And the top simplifies to uh, radical x plus 2 minus radical x. Uh, so now we'll, uh, since they have the same denominator, uh, we can just add these two together. Uh, so all we did uh, is we find that the radical x's cancel out, and now we're left with 1 fourth equal to uh, 1 half times uh, radical x plus 2 minus radical x minus 2. Um, so now we're going to multiply uh, both sides by 4 to uh, get rid of the denominators in both sides. Um, so now we have to do is that we have uh, 1 equal to 2 times uh, radical x plus 2 minus radical x minus 2. Um, and so now we're just going to square both sides. So if you square both sides, uh, you'll see that uh, the 1 is the same because 1 squared is equal to 1. Um, and for the right side, uh, we square the 2 out front, and that equal to 4. And then you square in the terms in the parentheses. Um, and if you FOIL it, uh, the written out term becomes x plus 2 minus 2 times the square root of x plus 2 times x minus 2 uh, plus x minus 2. You can cancel out uh, these two 2's. So you're left with 1 equal to uh, 4 times 2x minus 2 square root of x plus 2 times x minus 2. And you can um, distribute the 4. And you find that um, 1 is equal to 8x minus 8 times uh, the square root of x plus 2 times x minus 2. So now what we want to do is we want uh, this term to be um, by itself so we can simplify it. Um, so we're going to um, add this term to this side and subtract 1 um, from both sides as well. Um, so now that we have um, 8 x plus 2, or 8 times the square root of x plus 2 times x minus 2 equal to 8x minus 1, uh, we can first simplify the term in the square root to find that uh, 8 times uh, square root of x squared minus 4 is equal to x or 8x minus 1. Um, so now to get rid of the square root term, uh, we'll again square both sides of the equation. Uh, so we find that after squaring it, that 64x squared minus uh, 256 is equal to 64x squared minus 16x plus 1. Uh, so you can see right off the bat, uh, both sides have a 64x squared. So they can be canceled out. Um, then all we have to do is look at the x term and solve for that. Uh, 
Uh, so just very quickly, uh, we have 64x squared canceled out. So we have negative 256 um, equal to negative 16x plus 1. Um, then we subtract 1 from both sides, divide both sides by negative 16. And we see that the answer is that x is equal to 257 over 16. Uh, thank you so much for watching this week's Problem of the Week. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our website, thecenterofmath.org. Thank you.